Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video we will take a look at the latest update for Samsung One UI 8 Beta, which this is Beta 5 for the Galaxy S25 series. Now when it comes down to the Galaxy S25 series, I assume this to be the last update just because this one is so large and it's supposed to be officially launched as the regular stable version next month during September. Now this is giving us the August 1st security patch. The size is 1,736 megabytes. Again, Samsung One UI 8, Android 16, this is a beta five. So if we head right over inside of the Samsung members application, this is where if you are a part of a beta program, it's gonna show right here towards the top. If you're not a part of a beta program yet and you want to sign up for one, if there's one available, it'll be towards the bottom. Now, when you go inside of the beta program, you can go right here. You can see some information and beta notices. You can see that we are right here, August 19th, the fifth beta update. So this is the information for this update, which we don't have to see this info here because we can just take a look at it on the last page. But I just wanted to show that this one is beta five and hopefully we'll be able to see the full launch next month during September. Now for this update, there's a lot of bugs that have been fixed. So they applied the August security patch. They fixed the hotspot connection error. They improved the issue of lock screen clock font size getting smaller. And that happens to me, especially if you're making any changes to your lock screen. Uh, I had to change my wallpapers back from that Demon Hunters theme that I had, and it moved all of my, my clock and, and stuff down towards the bottom. They also modified the S Pen Air Command exception. They fixed an issue that does not appear in the quick settings window, improved the issue of overlapping quick settings window and notifications window, modified the exception when capturing the screen in the app in the secure folder, improved the problem of storing post-processing color purple when shooting 100 times zoom moon. They fixed the issue of do not disturb mode initialization. Uh, they fixed the issue of now brief briefing disappearing and then stabilization of software through several app updates. So we read all of this. This is everything that it mentions. We're gonna go through and we're gonna resume this update. And then once this is all done, we'll take a look at a few applications and services. We'll also take a look at the Google Play system update just to see if there's anything sitting there. We'll take a look at the Galaxy Store, see if anything comes from this update. I already updated everything in the Galaxy Store. There was about 13 things inside of there. A lot of it was launched right around August 6th. Um, August 12th, August 13th, and August 17th. So a lot of things within the last seven to 10 days. So what we will do now is take a look at the Samsung mobile security page because I wanted to share with you everything that's new for the month of August of everything in terms of the security side of things. So when you go inside of your about phone, you go to your software information. This is where I go down here for that Android security patch. Now, even though we don't see that August 1st just yet towards the bottom because the update is not done, we can still read what is new from the Google and Samsung side of things. Right here, it says for the month of August. Now for this one, everything on the top is everything from Google. And it looks like that there's only one that is critical and then that there is 28 that are high when it comes down to some of these Google patches that were fixed. Now there's a few of them that were already included in previous updates. And then there's one of them that's not applicable to Samsung Galaxy devices. Now down here, this is the Samsung side of things. Now there are 18 Samsung vulnerabilities and exposures that have been fixed. Now it looks as if there's one of these uh, patches from Samsung and Google that kind of work together dealing with the security index there. And right over here, this is where we can see a few of them written down. So even though there is 18 of them from Samsung that has been fixed, there's only eight of them that's written down. So when you go through, you can read just a few things down over here and what it, uh, what it affects. So the management in Samsung account, you have another one that's sitting right there. Here's one for uh, improper access control and assessing the system device node. And then you also have one for the Galaxy Watch, uh, fall detection for a Galaxy Watch. You have another one for a sensor manager for the Galaxy Watch there. Uh, it's the improper export of Android application component in emergency SOS. And then also another one for your document scanner. And I believe that might have actually been it. Yeah, so that was it for everything that was written. So there's 18 of them from Samsung, uh, but eight of them have been written down when it comes on to Google, one critical and 28 high. 
Now heading right back over here, this is where we can now restart the phone. And then this is the point in the video I like to state if you're brand new here at the Challenge Jimmy's promo. You appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information, especially updates on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure you send that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for all future videos. Now that the update is done and complete, let's first take a look at a few applications and services. Then we'll take a look inside the Galaxy Store and also see if there's a newer Google Play system update. So first off, when it comes down over into your Samsung, Samsung One UI Home. The version before this was 17.0.033. This is 17.0.57. So there is a newer version of your Samsung One UI Home. We'll also take a look at Gallery. Now for the Gallery, before this update, it was sitting at 15.7.0.0.39, 15.7.0.0.41. So we have a new version of uh, Gallery. Now we'll take a look at Camera. Before the update, it was sitting at 16.0.0.0.46. This is 16.0.0.0.5.8, so we have a new version of the Samsung Galaxy camera as well. Let's also take a look at lock screen. So this is where you head right over here to the lock screen, always on display about lock screen. Before this update, this one's sitting at 8, 9, 10, 31. This is 8, 9, 15, 18. So a uh, newer, better version there of Samsung One UI lock screen. We'll also take a look at the secure folder. Now before the update, this one was sitting at 2.0.10.11. This is 2.0.10.20. So we have a new version of the secure folder. And then when we take a look at phone, this one right here before the update was 15.9.59. This is 15.9.65.1. So we have a newer version of phone. And then lastly, let's take a look at calendar. Now, a few of the things that we did take a look at in today's video was actually written off and mentioned inside of all of the bug fixes. That's why there is newer versions of some of these applications. Before the update, this one was sitting at 12.7.0.1.12. This is 12.7.0.1.12. So no new version of the calendar, but everything else, uh, it is brand new. Just because it is such a large update, that is why most to all of these Samsung applications and services has been updated. Now let's head over and take a look inside of the Samsung Galaxy Store. Sometimes there's a few things that sits inside of there that is not a part of the update. Here we are, we have one update. And again, as I mentioned uh, before this, I did take a look and there was nothing sitting here. So there is now a newer version for Lockstar, so, or at least an update for Lockstar. Now the weird thing is that it says August 14th, but we're already past August 14th. It just happens that finally now it's showing up on my phone after this update. And it's probably because now it has the August 1st security patch. Now, the last place that I went to is going to be the about phone and software information, the Google Play system update. We're sitting on July 1st. I believe before this update, this one was saying May 1st. So with this update itself, it moved it from May to July but I still want to take a look to see if there is a newer update. Sometimes you have to go through manually and you have to do it a couple times. Now, if you do have an update and it says that you restart your phone and then you go back inside, head back over here and take a look to see if there is another update. Sometimes you have to do it two, three, or even four times. Uh, but I will state, if I remember right, before this update, this thing was saying May 1st and here we are with July 1st. So that is everything I wanted to cover in today's video and taking a look at everything that has been updated and changed. For me, this is considered a huge update, especially because it was over 1,700 some megabytes. You went from the July patch to the August patch. Every single application and service from Samsung has been updated except for a calendar. And also your Google Play system update went from May to July. So with all of that said, if you have a Galaxy S25 series and you're waiting for the official stable launch of Samsung One UI 8 with Android 16, we are basically there. This should be the last beta that we see, unless if there's a small little baby bug fix, which is going to be 200 or 300 megabyte of a fix. But this is everything that you should be seeing next month during the month of September as a stable full official launch. Hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.